Hi, my beautiful Leos, and welcome to Oso oh Tarot. So today we're going to be doing a love reading for you. We're going to be seeing what is coming towards you, what you need to know. Okay, so let's just get straight into it, okay? So the overall energy we have for you, my beautiful Leos, is thief. It says steal, criminal, cheating, and ulterior motives. At the bottom of the deck, we have revenge. Okay, it reads newness, revenge, body, luxury, reaching goals, and sudden success. Okay, so <laughs> for some of you, I feel like you could have been dealing with a liar, a cheater, or somebody that was like wearing a mask. They were hiding something from you. Okay, um, or this person had some kind of ulterior motive. I feel like... Um, you're getting revenge on this person, but I don't feel like you're actively doing anything to kind of hurt them. I feel like success is your revenge. I feel like you look really fabulous. I feel like you're working on your goals. You're reaching certain goals. You could be working on projects or endeavors. Maybe you've got a new job. Maybe you're actually working on your body. I just feel like you're just in this kind of like empress kind of show off mode. Maybe you've kind of like moved or I feel like you've just leveled up in your life. And I feel like, um, cause you know, if, if you look at this person's eyes, they kind of look like a demon, like her eyes are actually like red and yellow. I feel like whoever, I feel like somebody here who kind of done you dirty or who done you wrong is watching you and they can see that you're very successful and it's making them feel some type of way. Yeah, underneath that, we do have community. So some of you, you could be like, um, you could have like an online presence or if not, this is just, you know, with your within your actual community. Maybe this is somebody that you worked with, okay, um, or somebody you're in like close proximity to, but... Whoever this is um, that you had like a love or a romantic interest with, they are definitely watching you. Now, for others of you, you could be dealing with somebody who kind of sees how successful you are and they're plotting to, um, to kind of be with you because they want what you have. So just be very careful of that, okay? But yeah, the overall energy is thief here. So I also feel like I just heard Mr. Steal Your Girl. So somebody could be wanting to steal you away from somebody else, okay? Um... But yeah, I feel like for some of you, you know, you're really successful. Again, this could be the other way around. Maybe you're watching somebody. But I feel like someone here is really jealous. Okay, they're, they're watching you and they're jealous and they're envious of you. Because I just feel like you're kind of just moving on. You're getting on with shit. You just don't give a fuck. Like, yeah, you're okay. You lied, you cheated, you done whatever. I don't care. Like, I'm doing me. Okay, so let's just see where that is going. Okay, so interesting energy, um, Leo's. So, this is for my beautiful Leos. Wow, yeah, so we've got Divine Feminine here. Yeah, like I said, that Empress energy, okay? Or, you know, Emperor, like, you know, just gender or whatever, it doesn't matter. Kind of switch the, revolt, the, switch the roles if you have to, okay? But, yeah, you're really operating from a high um, vibration right now, Okay. I feel like you're looking absolutely gorgeous. You could be working on your home or working on your aesthetics or working on yourself. I feel like if you if you was dealing with this energy, I feel like you can feel a difference and a shift, 333, three, three, just as I said that, um, in your life since this person is not around you anymore. So things are really growing. Things are really flourishing. Okay, you look better. You feel better. You're surrounding yourself with really great people or people who are really supportive of you. If not, it's just you. Okay, there's something to do with pink as well. I'm hearing you look pretty in pink or pink is the color. Okay, but yeah, you're a divine feminine at this time. Okay, so I feel like you've recognized your worth and your value. I also feel like somebody is looking at you like this also. Okay, and again, be very careful because there may be somebody that's coming towards you and they kind of see you in this energy, but then there's like there's something this person is hiding from you or they're not to be trusted. Okay, but for others of you, I feel like you're kind of just moving on and it's just very clear for everybody to see. Okay, so I'm just hearing you were not the problem. Okay. We've got commitment at the bottom of the deck. So somebody may want to have um, a commitment with you, okay? Can I just have one card, please? This is for my beautiful Leos. Okay, what do we have? Oh, so we have embrace. Okay, so gorgeous energy, okay? So some of you could be meeting somebody new and you could be embracing um, this connection. For others of you, like I said, be very careful, Okay, because there could be somebody around you that wants you for the wrong reasons. Now, for others of you, I do feel like whoever this energy is that's watching you, I feel like they want 
to embrace you now. I feel like maybe they've recognized that you're like, you know, maybe you were dealing with somebody who kind of thought you had ulterior motives or they thought that you were like, um, I don't know, because I feel like some of you are very attractive. So, you know, sometimes when you're dealing with somebody attractive, it's kind of like, you know, people can be quite insecure. They kind of don't trust you. Like nobody that fine or that sexy is like a good person. You know, some people actually think like that. It's ridiculous, I know. But um, I just feel like with romance at the bottom of the deck, it's kind of like somebody wants to embrace you. They want to romanticize you. But I'm getting two stories here. I feel like for some of you, somebody wants to do all of this because there's something that they want from you. Maybe they want to seek revenge on you, so they want to beguile you at first. For others of you, this could be like a new connection coming in and somebody's kind of like just watching you kind of just be in love and, you know, happy and they don't like that. Because I did hear Mr. Steal Your Girl. So it could be like home record vibes here. Now, for another portion of you, I feel like this is that same person who was kind of, um, you know acting shady i feel like they now want to embrace you because they can see that you're doing really well it's always that energy though when you're doing better then they just come you know they come around it's like why the fuck are you talking to me now like when i was light low or you left me high and dry now you want to talk to me because i'm doing better <laughs> okay and then we got judgment yes okay so yeah somebody wants a second chance with you okay i'm hearing something about confessions as well at the bottom of the deck wow yeah we have red flags and we have stop so like i said for some of you be very careful because there's somebody that's out here that they don't have your best interest at heart i feel like you definitely know who this person is okay i feel like you kind of just need to um focus on yourself okay now for others of you if this is this person that had ulterior motives i feel like um they could just want to come back around just to kind of just disrupt what you've got going on, okay? Um, for others of you, I do feel like somebody kind of wants to confess something to you. So they may want to like say to you like, yeah, do you know what? I was doing this, that and the third or I was keeping stuff from you and like, I'm sorry, like I want to embrace that. I want to embrace you now. I want to embrace the connection. I feel like you may kind of feel very weary about this person because you kind of just don't trust it. But, you know, underneath that, we do so, we do have soulmates. So, this person may love you. Maybe somebody came into the relationship hiding their true self. And now they kind of want to, um, they may want to stop because I'm hearing stop the red flags. So I feel like somebody wants to stop this type of behavior. Okay. So, okay, let's just see where this is going. This is for my beautiful Leos. This is for my beautiful Leos. Please clarify Divine Feminine. Thank you. Okay, we, we got uninhibited and released. Yeah, so somebody... <laughs> this card makes me laugh because this is about two people just wiling it out. Like, they're just, you know, fucking each other on stage. People just looking at them and enjoying them. So I feel like somebody's watching you. They could be fun. I doubt somebody's, like, watching you have sex with someone. But, you know, you never know. Okay, but um, I feel like somebody could be fantasizing about all the things that they could do with you, okay? I feel like somebody just wants to unleash their desires and I feel like somebody's really desiring you. I feel like literally somebody kind of wants to steal your heart or maybe you have stolen someone's heart because her chain does say stolen here, okay? But I feel like somebody kind of just, I feel like somebody fears you kind of being um, unleashed into the, into the wild and kind of being available. Maybe somebody knows, you know, how good it feels or how wild or kinky you are. And it's like the, the thought of you being like that with someone else drives someone crazy here. They're like, no, I, I need to come and get you all the way back. Okay. If I need to confess, if I need to do whatever, like it is what it is. Okay. But I feel like somebody wants to kind of like unleash their, their, their desires for you so somebody could have been holding back now this could be somebody just like holding back the way that they feel maybe somebody's not good with emotions okay but yeah but let's just see yeah look okay i saw jealousy and possessiveness but it didn't fall on the table but you know yeah okay so this just fell so we've got doubt and indecision so yeah like i said i feel like for some of you you're just like no i don't know about all of that you know, I just, I just don't know if I want you back in my life. You know, you just, you're just, you're just not right. Or there's something real dodgy about you. I just don't know. But this card talks about this person wanting to say something to her, but he's afraid of whether or not she's going to say yes or no. Like he's afraid of rejection. Could be dealing with like another fire sign here. I want to say an Aries. You know, there's like a hand here that I keep noticing every time I get this card. So maybe this person was cheating or they were trying to hide somebody from you. Okay, so I feel like this is what this person is going to confess or tell you about what's really going on. 
Because, you know, if you actually look in this cup, they're not holding hands. It's kind of like he's releasing and he's letting her go. And he kind of wants to come towards you. But you're just like, mm, I don't really know about all of that, okay? 10, 10, just as I said that. But I feel like this person wants to let something in the past or let other people go and kind of just embrace and just focus on you. Okay, you see how he's holding her breast there. So some of you, you know, somebody really likes your chest area. Okay. Or, you know, when I think about the breast, I think about nurturing because, you know, that's how we feed our children. We feed the babies. Okay. So somebody kind of wants to nurture the connection. Okay. Somebody also feels like you're tender to the touch is what I want to say as well. But yeah, with the embrace, somebody's doubting whether or not you're going to want to embrace um, the connection or whether you're going to want to embrace them because I feel like somebody knows that they've done you wrong pretty much. Okay. I feel like they know that you know also because this person is watching you. They see you doing really well. You know, underneath that, we do have community. They can see that it's like this person is in a community or they're in an audience watching you do well for yourself. Okay. Um, so yeah, let's please clarify judgment. So we've got a beautiful face. Okay. And at the bottom of the deck, we've got a loving gaze. So yeah, so like I said, someone is really observing you. Okay. You know, when I look at this card, it's like the devil in the background. So it's kind of like this person has like some kind of demon or something attached to them. Okay, it's like, you know, like that kind of the devil on the shoulder on your, on your angel and the devil on your shoulder, sorry. It's kind of like, it's like this person has like a dark energy around them that's like telling them what to do or in trying to entice them, if you will. Or this could just be their ego because I always think about the devil and the angel on your shoulder as like your, your ego and your higher self. Like the devil is the ego and your higher self is, is the angel. That's my interpretation. So I feel like somebody operates a lot from their ego, okay? And they need to kind of listen to their higher self here, okay? But we do have a loving gaze. So somebody's looking at you and they're in love. They're in awe of you, okay? Somebody thinks that you're really beautiful. I feel like as well, somebody like with the divine feminine energy and the beautiful face, I feel like someone really recognizes you as a beautiful person inside and out, okay? Like they can see that you're kind of like, you're connected to something like a beautiful deity as well. Like your energy is just pure, okay? So I feel like someone's thinking like, you know, how could I have done something? How can I have done what I've done to somebody who's got such a beautiful, is it such a beautiful person? Okay, because somebody's really judging themselves, they're really analyzing themselves, okay? They're analyzing you also, okay? I feel like somebody literally wants to take care of you, they want to pamper you, okay? But somebody's just like, you know, you're beautiful, like, you know, can I have a second chance? Like, I'm sorry, like, I feel like somebody wants to... I want to say air out their dirty laundry and like you're kind of just not focused you're just kind of like yeah whatever you know it is what it is you know you know you're gonna have to just do better than that but yeah I feel like I'm just hearing like the player got played or the player played themselves okay could be dealing with an Aquarius Taurus Virgo or a Libra okay so let's just get into it let's just pull some tarot let's see what the tarot has to say Okay, so I didn't organize this table very well. I'm like, there's no space. <laughs> so this is for my beautiful Leos. This is for my beautiful Leos. I'm ready. I'm ready to shuffle the deck. But just as I said that, could be dealing with an Aquarius. We got Aquarius energy there. So this is for my beautiful Leo. So please clarify divine feminine. So we have the page of passion. And again, with that Aquarian energy. So it could be dealing with the fire sign, another fire sign. I want to say an Aries. Okay, but yeah, somebody's got some kind of confirmation about something. Somebody definitely wants to message you, okay? I feel like this person kind of wants to message you on a, like a flirtatious approach, okay? But I definitely feel like they want to message you to kind of heal a situation for you, for, um, with you, okay? And some of you, like I said, you definitely could be online or have some heavy influence. Or so this person is being influenced by a higher vibration, okay? So they're kind of like not listening to their dark energy anymore. They've been like reflecting and really trying to kind of like read the stars, like reach out to, to the higher powers, reach out to the heavens above, really trying to get some guidance, some hope, some inspiration. How can I restore this connection? How can I restore? How can I right my wrongs? Okay. And like, you know, the ones they can represent, you know, communication from the ancestors. So it's kind of like this person could literally be like lighting candles as well. Okay. With the uninhibited and release, it's like they're like releasing their prayers and their desires to the universe, but I feel like you're going to get some good news from somebody, okay, or I'm hearing like you were right, or you're going to, you're going to hear exactly what you want to hear, okay, now this could be your energy, maybe you're the one that's sending this message, okay, but you're going to receive something, 
you're going to receive some kind of clarity because the pages are messengers. Okay. So somebody wants to talk to you about something. Okay. So please come fight embrace. Oh. Judgment. Judgment is here once again. <laughs> hey. So yes, yeah, somebody really wants a second chance with you. There you are, Leo, at the bottom of the deck, looking absolutely gorgeous, okay? This is the six of wands, the six of passion. So like I said, this is your, it's like sex, success is the best revenge, okay? You're out here being admired, you know, by the people around you, being celebrated, receiving accolades. I feel like someone's really proud of you as well. Someone kind of can see that you like, you know, you've taken something on the chin and you're just getting on with life and somebody kind of really admires you with this loving gaze. I feel like someone's watching you at work and they really admire you, okay? But I also feel like somebody wants your attention. Somebody may want to conquer you as well, okay? But this is you, you know? So there, somebody's a part of your audience. You know, she's on the on the horse by herself there. And, you know, the, the sunflowers represent admiration, joy, success, happiness, Okay? Um, but yeah, the fact that we have judgment twice in this judgment card, it's like, thou shall not. Okay. So this is somebody looking at, like I said, that angel and that devil, the dark and the light side within themselves. You know, I shouldn't do this. I shouldn't have done that. I should do this. I should do that. I feel like somebody wants to take some kind of oath or they, like I said, I feel like somebody wants to confess something to you. Okay. They want to right their wrongs. Okay. They want another chance to embrace this connection because they've really been looking deep with inside themselves. But like I said, I feel like this person is doubting that you're going to want to hear them out. Or maybe they're worried that if they tell you what's really going on, you're not going to want to, um, you know what I mean? You know, like when someone actually tells you the real truth about something, you're like, hmm, okay, well, I knew it, but thanks for being honest. Bye. So I feel like somebody's like afraid that they're not going to be able to, I, I just heard redeem themselves. Okay. Yeah, I also feel like somebody's facing harsh judgment from the universe as well. Okay, so please clarify the row of judgment. This is for my beautiful Leos. So we have the Ace of Wealth here, okay? And at the bottom of the deck, wow, we've got the Nine of Cups. So it could be dealing with um, a Pisces, but it does not have to be, okay? But wait, let's start with this first. So with the Ace of Pentacles here, okay? I feel like, like I said, I feel like somebody wants to start fresh with you, but they want to be sincere and serious with the pentacles here, okay? Somebody actually might want to give you something tangible as well. I'm hearing like a token of love or some kind of proof of something, but somebody wants to give you something. They realize that you are a gift because, you know, the ace of wealth, the ace of pentacles, that is something that has been given to you by the universe, like literally. This is a new beautiful opportunity, but I feel like somebody wants to have another opportunity with you to kind of stabilize the situation, do the right thing. Somebody may actually ask for your hand in marriage also, okay? But I'm hearing like, I want to do right by you. I want to get you something because you're beautiful or you've been a beautiful person to me. But somebody wants to start again, but with the pentacles energy here, it's like somebody wants to be grounded. They want to be loyal. They want to be faithful to you. They want to be reliable. I feel like somebody wants to look after you here, Okay. And at the bottom of the deck with the um, nine of cups, I feel like somebody wished for you. Okay, it's kind of like, you know, when you get everything that you want, but you don't appreciate it. Or like I said, you kind of, you have some kind of interior motives or something and it, something kind of backfires here. But I feel like someone's like wishing for you to accept them back into their lives or wishing for something to kind of go in their favor. Okay. So please clarify the page of passion. This is for my beautiful Leos. Okay, that was two cards. We just would like one. Just have one card, thank you, yeah. <laughs> Could be dealing with a Sagittarius. Okay, at the bottom of the deck, yeah, we have the devil. I told you guys, that devil on the shoulder. Okay, so just be very careful, okay? But I feel like somebody has judged themselves. They know that they've got, like, dark tendencies or something about them. But, we'll, you know, we'll leave that for now. This is the um the nine of wands here. So, yeah, it's kind of like somebody wants to say something to you, but they're very apprehensive about messaging you or about approaching you. I'm getting this energy of, like, you know, having your tail between your legs, like having to put your ego aside, okay? Because it's like the wounded warrior is kind of like, ugh. Like, I really want to say something, but, oh, I don't know. But, you know, it's that... That wand in his hand is that message. 
Okay, and he's like, oh, you know, the, the, the ones, his barriers is behind him. So he's kind of walking away from that, thinking like, yeah, I know I need to approach you. I know I need to say what I need to say, but he's still kind of defensive at the same time. Worried if he's not, like, worried if he's going to, like, get rejected or, you know what I mean? I feel like it's irritating this person that they have to do the right thing. But they do. Or, like I said, they could see you kind of being out here, kind of doing your thing, and that annoys them, that, um, you know, irritates them. But I'm getting the energy of, like, being the wounded warrior here. Like, kind of just your ego's been bruised, and you know that you have to say what you need to say. This could be you, because there's a lot of fire energy here, but it could be an Aries or a Sagittarius. Okay? Or oh, this could be you, like I said. Please clarify the judgments. Please clarify the judgment. Yeah, we've got the five of cups. So yeah, so somebody feels bad, pretty much. Someone feels bad, they feel upset. They're looking at all the things that they've done. Okay, it's kind of like they want to reconcile, but you know, the universe was like, yeah, this was your two of cups. But I feel like somebody's kind of like wallowing in their misery here. But they feel very regretful and very remorseful for something that they have done to you or for hiding something from you. Now, maybe it wasn't lying, maybe it wasn't cheating, maybe it was just ghosting or avoiding something or just, you know, being wishy-washy. But whatever it is, this person feels really, really guilty. Okay, I feel like they feel like they've lost you. Okay? Especially with the doubt and the indecision. Like, somebody's kind of like doubt, like, they're just like, yeah, I've lost. I, I, I lost them. I lost my chance. Oh, I'm hearing like you don't know what you have until it's gone. Somebody also could be afraid. I'm um, not afraid, but upset because they have to let go of the past as well. But I feel like someone's like in their feelings. here. could be dealing with a Scorpio. Someone's just really upset about, you know, what they've done. Is That's just what I keep hearing. They're really judging themselves and they're just like, wow, I was, I'm, you know, I'm not a very nice person or... You know what I mean? Somebody is remorseful here. So if you're wondering if somebody's, you know, feeling some type of way, they are. They do feel really guilty. Okay, we've got the six of pentacles here. So yeah, somebody may want to give you a gift. Or like I said, there was an equal give and take in a situation. They could have been breadcrumbing you or giving their energy to other people. Okay, please clarify Ace of Well. Or again, this could be you. So just switch the roles. Yeah, juggling. Okay, but I don't really like to take the cards that are on the floor. So give me another one, please. Wow. Yeah. We've got the nine of swords here. So this person is stressed the fuck out. They are having sleepless nights. I feel like they're, they're riddled with guilt. And it's almost because, you know, the five of cups is like facing the other way. It's kind of like somebody doesn't want to face what they've done. But I feel like this person can't sleep. They can't sleep. They can't stop thinking about you. Okay. You see how everything is kind of melting? I feel like this person is like crying. I feel like they kind of cry themselves to sleep. Or they're very anxious. They have so much anxiety on whether or not you're going to kind of like take this offer or not. I just feel like someone's just like, you're so beautiful. I've lost you. Or maybe some of you have moved on. And they just can't believe it. But I feel like someone here is just... It's like they know that they need to say something to you, but they just don't know how to do it. They're just... They're just, you know... Because we've got the Nine of Wands with the Five of Cups and the Nine of Swords here, like, all in the same row. It's just... Someone is really guilty, man. But like I said, I feel like they're facing hard judgment because I feel like, you know, they fucked with somebody who's divine. A divine feminine energy... They took advantage of that energy or they took you for granted. Or like I said, they've done something to you. They've done you dirty and they know that they have done you dirty. Pretty much. And at the bottom of that, wow, we've got make love, not war. The two of cups. So yeah, like I said, somebody loves you or is this the lover's card? No, it's the two of cups. Yeah, so um, this is what somebody wants to do now. They want to make love with you and not war. They want balance. But like I said, I feel like this person feels like you're, you're not going to be, you're not going to like accept this. But you know, there, there is love here. I feel like this was definitely a soulmate, okay, that you were dealing with. So you were sent into someone's life to love them or vice versa. And I feel like somebody tried to kind of, I want to say have their cake and eat it too. Or they just tried to play you in some type of way. Or they came into the relationship 
um, disguising their true self or their true intentions. And now this person wants to kind of like make peace with you. Because with the make love and not war and a loving gaze, someone is in love. Like when they look at you, they see love. But I just feel like they feel like they've lost their chance with you, okay? But, you know, I do feel like things will, you know, turn out in your favor. Well, this is what this person's wishing. Because we do have the nine of cups and the, the two of cups. So I feel like someone's just like, you know, wow, I actually wish for the love and it actually came to fruition. And I fucked it up pretty much. Yeah, underneath that, we've got the nightest of emotions. So it's a, I feel like an apology is coming in. But I feel like someone's watching you. They're really proud of you. And they're just, they're really in their feelings right now, man. So what is a love message from this person? What do they want to say? Okay, we'll get to, because this kind of clarified what I just said. So we got, we say you love me, but after all that happened, now I doubt it. So yes, yeah, so I feel like this is your energy. I feel like this is what they feel like you're feeling. Because you're just like, yeah, you know, you said you love me, but then, you know, I feel like if this person does reach out to you and they tell you everything, you're going to be like, well, really? Or like I said, this person is doubting everything. It's like, you know, I know they love me, but now I just, I just don't know anymore. I don't know if this, I feel like this person trying to wonder, work out how you feel about them. Because I feel like someone has a lot of ego here. This could be you because you do rule the ego, but it's like, you could be dealing with somebody else who's got like a lot of fire energy. I want to say Mars energy, but it's kind of like somebody wants to like um say something, but it's like... They don't want to be rejected here. It's like, yeah, I want to express my love. I want to do things the right way. But like, um, but what if I don't get my way? But it's, it's not about that. It's about doing the right thing, period. Okay, then we've got, um, not going to lie, I stalk you. I do stalk, stalk you on social media. So like I said, someone's watching you. They're a part of your audience. Okay, so you this could be any type of social media. You could have Snapchat, TikTok, um, Facebook youtube instagram you know whatsapp whatever it is someone's like looking at you and they're stalking you so if this person is not talking to you trust me they're watching you and they're not really you know doing very well is what i want to say seriously do you even care about me so yeah somebody's like I feel like they feel like they've, like I said, they've lost you, man. They feel like they, um, they're just wondering whether or not if you still care about them. And at the bottom of the deck, you're the one that I want, only you. So, yeah, so like I said, somebody now only wants you. Okay. So if this person was like, like I said, trying to, I don't know, do something here. They realize they, I mean, there is only one divine feminine. You're irreplaceable. I feel like this is kind of, is this similar to the, if you're dealing with a Libra or anyone who has Libra placements, you might want to watch that because I think I named that oh, oh so irreplaceable. But yeah, they, they only want you. But I feel like you're apprehensive about this, especially when you kind of, when you have this conversation with this person, you're kind of like, well, how can I trust you now? I feel like you just feel like the trust has been broken. But I feel like somebody, you know, that's what they want. They only want you. You know, someone's in love here, okay? So, an additional message. This is for my beautiful Leos. Or again, this could be you, Leo. Yeah, we've got please stay. It could be in a same-sex relationship, but it does not have to be. But somebody doesn't want you to leave, okay? And then it's wait for me that wanted to come out. This person, like I said, they are returning. I feel like they just kind of need to get themselves together to kind of beg for your forgiveness. And then we've got self-love. So, yeah, I feel like this is you you know, really kind of focusing on yourself, loving yourself, recognizing your worth and kind of, you know, and this person can see that. And then we've got past life lovers. So yeah, definitely a soulmate connection here. Okay. So can we have additional information, any kinky thoughts or anything that we can get from the kinky guys? So we've got ears and we've got strokes. So if some of you, maybe you stroke this person's ego, especially because of the way that you look or the things that you can do. Okay. But with the ears, I feel like somebody wants to, you to hear them out. They want to talk to you. Okay, somebody also may, you know, stroke. <laughs> somebody also may have an ear fetish as well, okay? So that is it and that is all. I hope you enjoyed your reading. Um, bye.